always want an adventure, you're gonna get one. Our time here at the Airbnb in Christchurch is over. Bags are packed. So I know there's a lot of traffic right here right now. This doesn't seem very outdoor-esque, but trust me, not too far away, it's about to get very, very real. Cool little place here at Christchurch. I'm loving it. Goal for today, get a great meat pie. That's been high up on the list here in Christchurch. Uh, here in New Zealand, the things to do, you gotta experience a good meat pie. So hopefully we'll find one along the way. And then just get to our destination. It's clear skies right here, but our buddy that we're going with, Todd, he's saying that it is like mega pouring over there. Uh, we're going quite a long ways, five or six hours uh, to a different part of the island. So it's really rainy over there. I think similar to like Hawaii where there's like different climates in different parts of the island. But our plan is we're gonna go there first. That's our best chance at getting a tar or a chamois. JT really, he's, he's been wanting to do this for many, many years and really wants a tar badly. And to get one with a bow, it's a huge challenge, a just monstrous challenge. That is our best chance is to go to that part of the island. And especially because it's gonna be raining even more as the week goes on, brutal, y'all. Brutal conditions. This is what I'm wearing in. This is uh, my Axis hybrid jacket. It's kind of like soft shell, but we're probably going to be in rain gear for it's all over. And it's just going to get nasty. Getting real nasty. And then we'll come back here towards this way, this part of the island, as the week goes on. Uh, and we'll have more of a chance for other species like fallow deer and, and things like that. You ever loaded down a Subaru to that amount? Uh, I don't think so. We got to figure out a spot for my boat now. Just put it on top. It'll fit in here. That thing has traveled thousands of miles. Take your doinker off. Take that go. off and we'll put this here so it doesn't break the wind out. I helped load it, I promise. I'm not just standing here filming, being that guy. Into the mountains. So apparently they don't have no dryers in New Zealand or it's not very common. So people just be drying them out, out in the winds. We're out on a farm right now. We're, uh, we're dropping our stuff off at a, at a friend's house, leaving all the computers and bags and all that good stuff. One thing that's just crazy about New Zealand that I've seen so far, well, number one, the trees, just in general. Like everywhere you look, massive megalodon trees. I guess it's just the right conditions for for growth here. But then they, they have these hedges for days and the hedges are all just nicely trimmed everywhere you go. Just out in the farm side, it's like everywhere is a nice park. The grass is green, gorgeous. It's so majestic. I'm not a total world traveler, but I think I can pretty much confirm that this is one of the most beautiful countries on the planet. JT is testing an arrow here. Looking okay? Yeah, a little high left. Oh yeah, we're... This is the right spot. This is the Supreme, right here. Me and JT got the Supremes. This is like an everything, would you say? Potato, steak, bacon. Bacon. So I kind of kind of relate this to a kolache. Flaky crust. I've officially experienced the greatness. I do have bacon and egg. It's delicious. 
Thank you, have a good day. Possibly was the best thing we will eat all week in the famous town of Sheff Sheffield's. Go Pasha. That's the biggest truck I've seen since we've been here. And just around the corner is our mountains. You can see them over there. That's where we're going. So this could be the last great thing I eat before we start eating mountain houses, I don't know. You know what's everywhere? There's a finch. A daggum finch will live anywhere in the world. Look at that up there, ladies and gentlemen. That is called a mountain top with snow. Funny truck there. That's a milk. That's a milk truck? Milk truck. Yummy. Yucky is right. This is what we're going into right here. It was pretty. But now it's getting savage. Is this Lord of the Rings right now? What is going on? It's like water. It's just a water spout. They have spouts that go over the road. What That's pretty wild. in the world? I feel like we're on a different planet right now. That is something special. Mr. Lark. Uh, that's we're about, Earl. To, about to drive on the left. On the left hand side of the road. Don't yeah. forget that. Blinkers on the right hand side. Yeah. Got our windshield wipers here. Odd deal. Okay, I think we're good. I think we got this. We're good, except... It's pouring down cats and dogs. Get that backup beeper rolling. Got the backup everybody beeper. know. Everybody's got snorkels here. Oh yeah, the blinker being on the wrong side is so weird. Low traffic situation. You're Which fine. way are we going now? Uh, <laughs> we going the second? No, take the second exit. Oh, the second exit. Oh, we're good there. Good there. You're doing good. Oh yeah, we got that. No, we didn't die. I mean, but we have only been about 300 yards, but <laughs> yeah. you're right. Don't run into this car now. <laughs> Stay on your side. Well, this is the thickest forest I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how you would even navigate through that. It looks dark, deep in there. Like trolls would be living in there. We have arrived at our, our home for the night in this fern gully now. We started out, it was dry and there was some mountains and things like that. And then we went through a pass, then it started getting like clouds low to the ground, and now we are just in the, I guess you'd call this a temperate forest, close to the ocean. It's crazy, like the forest just goes right to the ocean, and there's these beautiful, huge river rocks everywhere, giant trees, ferns, it's majestic looking. There's no question. And then this building right here, just out in the forest, there's a, there's a glacier nearby, kind of a tourist area where you can go view glaciers and there's just this uh, little guest cabin out here in the woods. Later on, we're gonna be staying in what's called a hut and those are like government set up stations that sleep like 20 people so you can literally go out, do hiking, enjoy the outdoors and just, just stay in these places that they've built for you. Everywhere you look, there's something just growing. There's not a branch, a vine, that doesn't have something else growing on top of it. I can't imagine the kind of, of animals and the thickness of, of the forest, like things that are gonna be living in here. Um, it's gonna be a challenge filming this, y'all. Challenge physically. Just look at this. Imagine trouncing through this right here after an animal. I'm a little speechless here, y'all. This place is just full of wonderment. Uh, I just found out on the way in, like we passed a bunch of places that were filmed uh, for Lord of the Rings. Like we drove five and a half hours to get here today. Tomorrow, our journey really starts. I'm gonna introduce you guys to Todd, our guide, who's been up here in the mountains for uh, weeks. Uh, he's really been hunting like off and on for months. He's been on these uh, tar and chamois up here. It's just a privilege to be up here, y'all. We're gonna be all safe tonight and then tomorrow.
early morning bite at this cabin. I was not expecting to have me some uh, some delicious French press. The clouds have gone away so far this morning. If we're lucky, they're going to stay away. <laughs> but the adventure is about to begin. I just heard first thing off the bat, we're gonna be crossing a river or a creek this morning. And let me just tell you, that water is coming off a glacier. It is going to be bitterly biting, nasty, cold, y'all. So we're just getting our gear prepared before the sun comes up. And then we're gonna head out and it's about to get real. washed out yep. the end of March wow so this is like a temporary bridge oh we got a bridge. wood bridge nice. yeah. and just to tell you how much water it was over this bridge dang that's wild some local had his dump truck and he was cutting people across the hundred bucks there was a little hot This is not fake behind me, y'all. Waterfalls up in the mountains. Fern Gully, it looks like. All sorts of wildlife, birds, things I've never seen already. And it is now time to start our trek on the track. They call trails tracks here. First thing we have to do right off the bat is cross a glacial creek and it's going to absolutely suck. I've never experienced water this cold in my life. It's already chilly out here. We have to cross with our big packs. <laughs> That's how we're starting this thing off, y'all. Todd, tell us who you are and uh, what you're about. Well, I'm Todd Howard, originally from New Zealand. Born and raised here. Hunting is my passion. Been living in Canada the last four years, so time to get home and do a little hunting for ourselves. Hang up the guiding boots and uh, yeah. Get some lead down range on a few tire and chamois hopefully this week. Yeah, baby. Tell me what you really think about me carrying this bow instead of rifle. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. You'll see after the first day uh, what uh, you should be going out there in the field with. I'm pretty hard headed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're gonna kill one with a bow. Yeah, we'll dude, do our best. Look at you. Long look range you. bow hunting. Ready to up. go. Todd, and I've never seen a man with Crocs with a glorious beard and a rifle like that ready, <laughs> well, ready I'm to go. Well, I'm actually getting punished right now. These, these flies, man. What are these called? Sand flies. Sand flies. They're all over us. Yeah, and they're biting. They bite good. Get to trekking, boys. <laughs> Let's go. It's probably like 40, 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The boys want an adventure. You're gonna get one. I probably don't need to take my pants off. These little sand flies are biting the crap out of my legs. Oh, it's really close where I have to like almost get down in my underwear, but I don't think I do. I, th I just watched Todd cross. I think I can cross with just my pants rolled up. So here we go, baby. Oh my God, that's cold. It's freaking cold. It feels good though. <laughs> if that is uh, anything that's showing what is to come, this is going to be the most incredible thing that uh, we've ever done. So, y'all make sure to stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.